Hello viewers, welcome to our weekly show Tech News. Today we will talk about semiconductor shortage and its impact on India. Semiconductors. This is something you must be hearing a lot on news and social platforms. So what are semiconductors? Why is shortage such a big issue? Before that, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss our future videos. Well, you guys just might not even know that in today's world semiconductor is an essential as our daily needs. Almost all the electronic products we are using are made of semiconductors like fridge, TV, mobile phones, laptop, calculators, cars, etc. All of these devices use chipsets like Snapdragon on mobile, Intel on laptops. Now imagine what our life would be without all these. You must be thinking why there is a shortage and what's the reason behind it. Well, when the COVID-19 occurred, the demand for automobile decreased drastically. So the automobile manufacturer reduced their demand for chips. Coincidentally, at the same time, the demand for electronic devices like laptops, mobile phones, home devices like Alexa, PlayStation increased as the work from home culture was imposed all around the world. And for India, work from home became a major life change, which increased the demand of mobiles and laptops for education and work even in the remote villages. So the major chipset maker shifted their production and focused on chipset for electronic devices. But after the lockdown restriction was removed, the demand for automobile increased again, and the demand for electronic devices was still increasing. Many manufacturers tried ramping up their production, but the semiconductor shortage disturbed supply of the products, whereas the demand was still increasing rapidly, which created a major problem on global scale, including India. Even in the countries like US, Europe, major factories like Ford, GM, Maruti were closed, and people were left jobless on a larger scale. The major hit was on health sector, where almost all equipment work on semiconductors. And if this problem isn't dealt with soon, the world technological advancement would pause. Now this global shortage of semiconductors. Is this an opportunity for India to enter a $500 billion market? India is known as semiconductor design powerhouse. Every major semiconductor industry has a presence in India. India designs some of the most advanced chips in the world. But when the designs are complete, they are sent to USA, China, South Korea, Taiwan for manufacture. India had an opportunity back in 1960 when the semiconductor giant of that time, Farchild, wanted to build a setup in India. But Indian politics failed them and they went to Malaysia and Philippines, back then realizing semiconductor as a potential foundation for new revolution. In 1984, India set up a semiconductor manufacturing factory in Mohali, Chandigarh, named Semiconductor Complex Limited or SCL. The investment was around 50 to 70 million dollars, approx 100 to 150 crore rupees, which was a huge amount at that time. The factory's initial growth was promising and was going at a very good pace until a fire broke out in 1989 which destroyed the factory completely. The cause of the fire was unknown and the rumor was it was all a setup. Some even think it was a plan of US, China, Russia to stop India to enter the semiconductor industry. And this became one of the biggest failures in Indian industry. After that India took a decade and spent a huge amount of money to reestablish the factory. But by that time market giants like Samsung, TSMC already entered and established major shares in the market. Because of this, India was left behind in the race. Even after many attempts, India isn't able to enter the market since. But now, India has a chance to enter the market and establish itself in the world's semiconductor market. India already is a leader in design, but can we really make it possible? Setting up a semiconductor factory, also known as FAV, requires an unbelievable amount of financial and human capital. To make this possible, major players like Tata, Reliance has to come to terms with the government and work together to develop and produce world-class chipset and make it so advanced that every tech giant is forced to use it. If the Indian government and the tech giants come together and set their mind, it can be achieved in few years. While the economic superpower deals with this shortage, India can become the world's leader in semiconductors. But to do this, India has to overcome many difficulties to begin a huge amount of financial capital. We currently spend fraction of amount compared to Taiwan, China and US. One of the major factors is electricity supply in India. India doesn't have a constant power supply and a short power cut can result in losing months of hard work. Further semiconductor manufacturing requires around 10 to 15 million liters of fresh water per day. Not to mention the huge environmental concerns due to toxic waste released in manufacturing. But these are the issues that if India solves, not only semiconductor industry but every major minor industry, town and village will thrive. To sum it up, COVID may have harmed us in an unimaginable way, but we are presented with a huge opportunity and I think it's now or never for Indian economy. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channels. We bring all the latest news in the tech world.